Hey, what's up? This is Rodney and I'm back. And when I tell y'all Serena Williams cannot win for losing, um, well, she did lose the other day, girl. Um, but, like, okay, one minute is, oh, you know, her outfit is inappropriate, which I've already made a video about that. I think it was more so about her body than what she had on. I mean, the girl was literally covered up from, like, her neck down to her toenails. It's not like she was, it, it wasn't like, it's not like she's out there in a mesh bodysuit with a thong on and all you see is that all you see is ass and thighs just everywhere bitch wouldn't that be everything bitch wouldn't that be everything to see, see serena out there with a mesh bodysuit on with a thong on bitch when well, that's i catch my life <laughs> all you gonna see is ass and thighs just all over that coin everywhere <laughs> Shit. yes ma'am just looking okay um First, it was that, you know, well, that, not that wasn't the first, that was one of the things. And I, I've read that, like, she would be, like, the only um, player getting, like, random drug tests. It wouldn't happen to anybody else, just her. And then now, you know, they thought that her and her coach were cheating. You know, they thought that the coach was coaching her from the sideline. Um, I'm not gonna lie and say that I looked at Serena crazy when she was going off on that man when she was sitting there. I giggled, but girl, Serena was talking to that man like he was a child. Like, um, what was she saying? Uh, you apologize now. You owe me an apology. You will never, <laughs> girl, going off. Now, I probably just didn't give a damn because he was white. Ugh, I shouldn't say that. Because I'm gonna stop saying stuff like that because white people don't think I don't like white people. Like, I love white people. But, she, but, I mean, y'all know why why people now y'all have to admit, girl, y'all do be playing sometimes, girl. Every time I look up, it's like the the stuff that bother the stuff that should bother you don't bother you. Like it bothers you not to get off subject. It bothers you when a little girl is selling lemonade or selling water, or when somebody is having a barbecue at a park. That's the stuff that bothers y'all. Like, when we get our motherfucking brains blown out of our head, girl, y'all keep walking like ain't nothing happened. Anyways, I don't want to get out. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But yeah, they've been fucking with Serena. They've been fucking with Serena. Serena was talking to that man a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. I saw I like, girl, Serena, girl, you were really talking to that man like he a child. But I really don't give a fuck. God probably would have been talking to him like that too. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. You know, I've been working on my mouth. You know, my I told y'all a long time ago that my friend told me that, um... You know, I need to work on my delivery because sometimes the stuff I say is true, but it's just the way that I say things that come off a little bit tacky. <laughs> what up, girl? Like I told him, like I told him, girl, let me tell you something. I'm not about to sit here and rehearse, you know, how I'm going to say something to somebody who's supposed to be my family or my friends. Like, I'm not going to sit here and practice like I'm giving a State of the Union address. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I'm going to say what I need to say. You say what you need to say. Don't bite your tongue for me. Anyways, I'm, I'm now I'm about to get mad. So yeah, you know I've been working on my delivery. Um, but anyways, girl, why they said that they fined her seventeen thousand dollars? Seventeen thousand dollars. They said they fined her seventeen thousand dollars for verbal abuse, and I forgot the other two things. I said verbal abuse. <laughs> Verbal abuse would have been, let me tell you something, you sorry motherfucker. You know damn well I wasn't cheap. You know damn well my coach wasn't paying me no attention. So for you to sit your little bony white ass up there and say some shit like that and cause all this chaos and confusion over some shit that you know wasn't happening, I ought to get up there and hit your ass upside the head with this goddamn racket. That's what I ought to do. But since I'm trying to be a lady, I'm not going to do nothing to your ass today. But if it happened again, if it happened again, if it happened again, I'm going to bust your motherfucking ass. That's verbal abuse. <laughs> okay? I said them girls don't know what fucking verbal abuse is. Child. And let me say something. Let me say something. And as petty and as ignorant as I am, okay, girl, I got to pay this $17,000. Whatever. We're going to charge you to the game. I would have took my ass to my bank. You know, rich people don't. You know, rich people don't bank at the Wells Fargo or the Bank of Americas. They they bank at the private institutions. Girl, I would have took my ass to my bank. I would have asked to speak to the bank manager. Hey, Miss Williams, how you doing? I'm doing, Frank. How you doing? I need a favor. 
I need to withdraw $17,000, but I need to make sure that it's withdrawn only in pennies. Yes, only pennies. So you want to withdraw $17,000, but you only want us to give it to you in pennies? Yes. And once you give it to me in pennies, I need you to unwrap them and just put them like, I'm going to bring some suitcases here. And I'm just going to want y'all to dump the $17,000 of pennies inside these suitcases, okay? So you want us to get, and whatever, and I, I will pay y'all triple overtime. So whatever associates that you need to do this, I will pay them out of my own money. Just tell me how much it will be. I will pay them. I will write them a check. However many sales associates, I mean, however many bank associates you need. I just need this to be done. I don't want any quarters. I don't want any nickels. I don't want any dimes. I want only pennies. $17,000 worth. And once you get the rolls, I need y'all to unwrap those rolls and dump them, dump them into my suitcases. I'm going to bring the suitcases here for y'all. That's the type of shit I'm on. Since you want to play these fucking games. And bitch, I would have got my private jet. I would have had about 60 suitcases full of pennies. And I would have flown that money to wherever it needed to be flown to. I would have got off that private jet in some motherfucking heels. And the tightest jeans I could find in a crop top with a motherfucking Gucci bag. And I would have had my security guards with me. And I would have had some people I hired to drag them suitcases off that plane. And we would have took it to wherever it needed to be taken to. Here go your money, girl. And you can keep them suitcases. Them hoes would have been looking at me like I was crazy. That's the type of shit I'm on. Since you want to play these fucking games. Bitch. Oh, I said, girl, they are really playing with Serena. Girl. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that Serena lost that game. Because, I mean, I can see how she was aggravated. But, I mean, Serena getting old. I mean, girl, I'm not trying to be funny, but she's getting old. Like, that's what happens when you start to get older. These younger girls are coming up. It happens in every with everybody. Beyonce going to be old one day. It's going to be a young bitch who's going to take a spot, you know. Jay-Z going to be old one day. It's going to be another nigga who's taking a spot, you know. It's going to be... Everybody got a time. Serena, you know, she's... She getting older. I mean, I can see how being frustrated could probably take a, you know... Take a... Like, you know, fuck up your head while you're trying to play a game. But anyways, girl, I don't know. But what I do know... Is how I would handle that seventeen thousand dollars situation, <laughs> bitch. And then I'll walk out. Y'all ready? Let's go eat. I want some Popeyes, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let me go, y'all. Bye.